gambling's about big money and good luck, and it's one of the favourite targets for hustling. We set up a casino night and invited a bunch of real people to come along and play. Alex and Paul are here to put their hustling skills to the test, and we've got our cameras in position to try and catch them increasing their winnings by chip stealing. Not all crooks who walk into a casino are there to rip off the house. Some of them are there to take your money or your chips. Can I get a hard six, please? Hard six. Chips are casino currency, and there can be thousands of pounds worth on the tables at any one time, making this a lucrative scam for our hustlers. A round of craps table is a perfect opportunity to steal somebody's chips because a craps table gets quite crowded. People usually use these rails to keep their chips. It's very animated. People are leaning back and forward, placing bets on the layout, taking bets off, getting paid off, reaching for the dice, throwing the dice. So this is a perfect little steal. I want to place a small bet um, and I want to place it uh, in uh, the middle of the layout. So what I do is I lean forward. And I might even ask the dealer uh, to the left or to the right, saying, can you place this one on a hard eight, please? Now, as I'm leaning forward to be helpful, my other hand just slides over and I just steal these chips from the person on my left. Those chips get hidden in my hand, they're right here, and I can put them either back on my rail, because it wouldn't be unnatural, or I can just stick them in my pocket. In the casino, we can see this sting in operation. Under the cover of placing a bet, Alex has stolen some chips. Here it is again. That's 50 pounds worth of chips, easily pocketed. Stealing off the rail is a classic way to take chips at a craps table, but a much more brazen way is to steal chips from the layer itself, from the craps table. Back in the casino, Paul's placing a bet, and he's doubled his money before he even rolls the dice. But how? Let's say someone's just made a bet. Now that's a hefty bet. There's a lot of money in there. Each one of those chips is worth, say, a hundred pounds. I come up to the table. I want to make a bet too. Um, I'm not going to bet quite so much. Instead, I'm going to bet about 20 pounds. I come down and I say I'm going to have 20 pounds on the field. As I make that bet and leave the money there, I steal two chips from this player. So even if they win, they've lost out on 200 pounds worth of betting. Now this particular steal has made some people an awful lot of money. In the casino, we can see this scam play out. Another player has placed four chips on the table, and as Paul places his bet, he swipes the top two chips off their stack. Let's see that again. That's a result for Paul, and the banknotes mean the steal is hidden from the croupier and the other players. And there's another method of stealing chips that happens right under the other gamblers' noses. At the blackjack table, Alex seems like a well-wisher, but really, he's chip-stealing. Good luck. Yeah. Chip thieves operate in every single part of the casino and are incredibly creative. The next scam was invented by a girl who used it for years before she was caught. It was very clever. What she used to do, she used to take a glass and put something sticky on the bottom. She would stick it like this, make sure it's stuck there. Now, she would have an opaque liquid, so you couldn't have water or anything because you'd see the sticky stuff. In the action of wishing people good luck, she would just tap their chips. And by just tapping the chips, one of them would become stuck to the bottom of her glass. Now imagine this chip was worth a hundred pounds or so. She could do this all night and make thousands. In the casino, Alex seems like a nice guy. Good luck. Yeah. But really, he's just stolen a hundred pounds. Here it is again. That's another easy win for the hustlers. Now there are very bold ways to steal from the table as well. The player beside me, in this case it's Alex, has a bunch of chips here. These chips all belong to Alex and I've moved mine to the side and I'm about to leave the table. As I leave I move everything over just within range of Alex's chips. But as I get up and pick everything up, I say goodbye to everyone at the table, pick up Alex's chips and leave. And if anyone were to notice I simply make it a mistake. I'm really sorry, which ones are yours? I'm sorry, which one are yours? It's very easy to get away with, even if you get caught. As Paul leaves the table, nobody suspects a thing. But a closer look reveals he's just lifted an entire stack of chips from the player next to him. That's the biggest chip steal of the night. 
and the hustlers are 500 pounds up without even placing a bet. You might find yourself in a casino sometime soon and you might have enjoyed watching these ideas, but however tempted you are, there's absolutely no doubt whatsoever that you will go to jail if you get caught doing these. If they're suspicious at all, all they're going to do is run to security, they'll rewind the tape, and it's all there for everybody to see.